What's our general status? The Mobius we can go smash and grab, or we can go to Agria. I'm feeling... I like have. I think that having the Marauder is going to be really good. You know? The evacuation won't be that hard either. However, I think that getting to Redstone for Outbreak will be really nice, because Reapers are very, very strong on that mission, even without upgrades. And the Hellion is not very good. Another unit that I think is going to be surprisingly strong is the Vulture. I'm going to try to get a lot of value out of that, because its upgrades are just incredibly average. Uh... Let's get a medic. We've got to get that artifact before the Zerg overrun the whole place. Hmm. I'm really concerned about places like Belshir. I don't know how to win at Belshir. I got something new for you, cowboy. Marauders. The latest word in Big Bada Boom hardware. That's permanent shield damage. His shields will remember that forever. Best time there is. Let the marauders loose against those stalkers and you'll see. I'm never sure what the best position to be here is, because sometimes they just snipe your medic. I'm gonna try right here. Okay, I like this position. Ooh. Yeah, that worked out great. So first things first, we're going to start pushing this way. We'll be ready for the Zerg attack and not die to it. Actually, the marauder is gonna lose a lot of equity throughout this run because he doesn't have concussive shell. I don't mind as much about the loss of the HP, but the inability to slow with the Marauder kind of sucks. I pulled too many people. Ooh, that was a good snipe. I have already misplayed really badly. <laughs> Losing a Marauder for no reason. You need Marauders for the Ultras. Yeah, that is a very good point. Marauders, because they do 20, are super strong against Ultras. Okay, keep the Marauders in the front. Watch out for the Roaches targeting... I think I was too greedy. I should have just built a bunker. We're going to macro for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to push. We're at the point where the Protoss no longer attacks. They only attack that little bit at the beginning, and then they just completely give up. So it's only Zerg that matters. I just want to be clearing out these guys slow and steady. Because if I can use up some medic energy right now, and then replace that medic energy, it's way better than having to clear it with my big push and start out basically with a deficit of medic energy. Hey, you ain't gonna leave your base hey. completely undefended, are you, Jimmy? Jimmy? I like that Tychus talks to Jimmy the same way that you do when you're opening up your Tinder conversation. Hey. Am I relatable now, guys? I've never actually Tindered before. But if you can meet men like Tychus, then I'm definitely not interested. You're excited for trains? I don't think trains will be very hard. Have you heard of the Diamondback? It's got a back made out of diamond. Don't kill my bunker, please. Thank you. Oh, we're gonna lose the repair speed upgrade, too. Mmm. When I think of all the things we're not gonna have, this run seems a lot more frustrating than I initially thought. <laughs> Seventy, eighty, ninety. Let's go. Hey, JJ, eighty. I'm glad you had a good time. Armed and ready. This better. 
Okay, let me check what's building. Medic, Marine. Uh, yeah, you don't want to be a Marine. You want to be a Marauder. I believe that there's a big timing actually around like the eight minute mark. Maybe I can make some progress there. I'm really impatient on these beginning missions. I just want to get through them. But at the same time, I just, I don't know how to judge fights with Zero Zero Bio. So, yes, my plan is wait for the Zerg to attack this time, start pushing, get over about here, secure the area, pull back, wait for the Zerg to push again, then probably grab the Relic? There's a lot of places that I got. Maybe I'll do it in the other order. Maybe I'll do both. I don't know. I am. I'm saving like 100 minerals by not getting plus one. It's going to pay for itself. I'm really looking forward to the YouTube comments, by the way, because there's always some guy that's like, yeah, when I was a kid, I didn't know what upgrades were, and I beat this on Brutal++++++ plus 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 on my first try without upgrades. I don't know why this guy's trying this. I accidentally enabled all the mutators at the same time while not getting upgrades. Also, I didn't have a keyboard or a mouse or a computer. And this idiot thinks that he's doing something that's at all hard. I'm just, I'm astonished at how t talented the YouTube commenters are. Bonus objectives are unnecessary. We need to make Jim a millionaire. It's important. This is the real reason we're here. It's the billion dollar Jim. What do you guys think? Like, don't look it up or anything. I just want... Could a mod hold a poll on the over-under for $2.5 million Jim Rayner at the end of all this? Because that seems to be in my head about the number that you would get up to. Remember someone saying that the 24-hour run wasn't impressive because you're on bird? Yeah, I remember that. There was a guy in the uh, <laughs> in the Reddit thread about it that was like, uh, I added up all the world record times for all the things, and it was less than 24 hours. This isn't impressive at all. It's like, first of all, that skips... It skips like 20 missions if you add all those together, and all of them are the long missions. So, great job there. Second of all, you can't just add world records together. <laughs> That's not how it works. It's like, yeah, this is the pinnacle of human accomplishment on this, and the fact that in 24 hours you didn't replicate that repeatedly over and over and over, even though it takes these people hundreds of runs in order to get a time that good, frankly, you're not impressive at all. I'm like, okay. Thanks. You really understand what you're talking about. Uh, you don't want three guys together, because when you have three guys together, he casts Psy Storm. That's just how the AI works. This is true for every AoE ability in StarCraft, pretty much, is that they will not cast them unless there's three valid targets in the radius. So you can abuse the AI pretty reliably like that. I don't need these at this point. Oh, this was good timing. Now I'm going to go try to win. Ashwoo3, thank you for the resub, and did I say Joey Nails? I don't remember if I said Joey Nails, but I appreciate your nails, sir. I don't know what type of nails they are. They could be construction or finger. Don't care either way, but I appreciate you. Joey Nails actually sounds like a mafia name now that I think about it. This is Joey Nails. If you mess with us, then he comes after you. I done blindfolded without, but what about hands free? Well, I was thinking about maybe I could do that thing that the one guy did with bananas. <laughs> Set up a billion bananas. <laughs> We're gonna pull these guys down a little bit. Wait, isn't there an archon? There he is. <laughs> He's just napping. 
I can already feel that the Marauder is making things a lot more reliable than the Marine. Maybe it's just that Protoss units kind of suck. That could be part of it as well. Because 1.0 Wings Liberty Protoss is so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna pop down these gates so that they don't reinforce or whatever. We got all the research so that we can start getting Jim some money later. And then we're gonna head up and kill this. If you need the achievement for not losing a guy to it, just put a Marauder in front of everyone with a medic behind it and you're fine. I'm not doing that achievement, but I might as well not lose anymore. Oh! And then make sure that you completely mess up. And it still works out fine. Easy mission, easy life. We're gonna head to Devil's Playground next because I feel pretty confident there and I want I want the Reaper. Once I get the Reaper, I will head to the Colonist missions, which will get me access to the Hellion. Wait. I caught Tychus. Why am I going to go get the Hellion? The Hellion sucks. Man, I had it in my head. I was like, yeah, we could do this, and it's going to make this easy and this easy, but I, my end goal is getting a piece of garbage. Would a tri Twitch track controlled run be at all possible? Uh, Twitch tr or, uh, Twitch Play Starcraft is already a channel that's like always live. You can do it there. I mean, I wouldn't do it on my channel because it's my channel. I wouldn't be doing anything. I would just be... I'd just be sitting here, and that'd be really boring. The mighty Jim Raiders on the moon. I don't want to do the evacuation. Yeah, uh, it's interesting, but all those Twitch plays things are just, they're very slow. And that can be, it can be painful to watch as a result. So we do get the War Pigs for free, which is great. I love the War Pigs. They're my favorite mercenary band. We're going to get the Reapers, then we're going to go up here, we're going to get two bases, and we're going to do the very simple strat that is my preferred way of playing the mission, which is you wait for a lava wave, then you clear the base to the south, then you set up a defensive position right here, clear here, clear here, be done. Lava's rising. Get those SCVs to high ground. Right now. And always remember to play chicken with the lava. By the numbers. You fear it as much as it fears you. This better be good. In the rear with the SCV ready. I skip the cutscene at the end with the doctor. Usually Yo, Yes. Going? Because we've watched the cutscenes a billion times at this point. With and it's a very slow cutscene. So we should get the Reaper pretty soon. I'm gonna go two racks here. Two racks plus Merc. One tech lab, one reactor, so that I can get some medics out, some marauders out, and a good healthy marine dose out. I wonder if it's easier on the dig to just kill all the buildings. There's no way, right? No, we could just make siege tanks, of course. You don't need siege tanks upgrades for the mission that you get the siege tank. They're seriously badass. Then we're just going to get these and be prepared to do two bases at once. There's some Reapers over here that I used to always forget. Thankfully, the speedrun has ingrained in my head that they exist. Because it's the first thing that you dash for. But they have a ton of money with them, which is really neat. Mineral Almost prepared. The is in. And we're going to send a heap of these guys right over here. The more minerals we expend on forces, the now, I don't remember the where the enemies goal. attack from, so right, I'm just going to chill in the middle of these two bases and hope that nothing bad happens. The attack waves at the beginning hurt pretty bad. Uh, sir, sir, uh, oh, yeah, we got to kill that, too. Large bio signature close to your position. A brutalisk, I think. If you could kill it, that'd get my uh, our research off to a flying start. I really like Stepman and Wings. 
I think he's a good character. I think that he gets worse and worse over time. What is my most hated Terran unit in Wings of Liberty? Uh, that is a good question. Probably the Hellion, just because it is so bad. It has no redeeming value compared to either the Firebat, which is already bad on its own, or the Vulture, which is just a cheaper, better version of it. There's no mission where the Hellion is actually strong. And that makes me kind of sad. Okay, here's that. Lifty lift. Yeah, we'll send this over here, but we won't land it. No, Wilbur! He's fine. Do I do it? Do I eject him? Oh, I wonder if I could. Oh, you can drop them. You can absolutely drop them and they won't die. If you're fast enough. I don't know why this is Sparted, that guy, but he's dead now. Okay, next next lava wave, we're going to play chicken. So one thing that you can do here is if you are trying to make sure that you get the bonus objective and stuff, wait till the end and just build a bunch of bunkers. If you build a bunch of bunkers, then there is no problem. You can just salvage them all at the end for a big influx of cash, and you won't accidentally win while you're getting everything set up if you're a slower player. It's really kind of neat. You get your bunker bank. Mineral field depleted. So yeah, what we're going to do, wait for the lava, head down here, and kill this base. At which point, the only direction attacks can come from is right here, because the other two bases have a joint choke point. Thank you, Tashi. If you got Helens on the escort mission and Firebats for the defense mission, that would make a lot more sense, Mineral yes. Then again, the Firebats are also really bad on that mission, so I'm not sure how much of a help it would be. I'll head on over here. It's going to be a slow process, so we'll drink some coffee. It would be kind of cool because that mission has a road, though, so then you'd have Hellions on the road. Even if it's not good, it would be thematic and neat, you know? I'm going to fill up this queue, and then I'm just not going to produce anything besides Mercs anymore. Does anyone else always think that Reapers deal bonus to light? Uh, well, that is because Reapers do in fact deal bonus to light. They got nerfed, or rather, they had a major redesign with the introduction of Heart of the Swarm, so that they no longer required a tech lab, they lost their anti-building attack, and they lost the bonus damage to light, and were transitioned from a harassment unit to a... Whatchamadinger unit. They were tra uh, a harassment unit to a scout unit. Because they were too powerful as a harassment unit. They just did. They killed people too good to the point where you could become the world champion if you just knew how to micro them and didn't do anything else. Which was a bit of a problem. Oh no, Wilbur! Uh oh. Wilbur is also the command center. We're all Wilbur now. Safe to proceed with mining operations. All right, this base is clear. I'm gonna go ahead to the bonus objective now and finish that off. What's going on? Yeah, you gonna get some wool pigs. Is there any other games I'm in making content for? I don't know. I was planning on figuring out that stuff, and then I got very distracted by making Twitch Trolls Grant work, so I haven't thought about any of that stuff recently. It's just kind of one step at a time, you know what I mean? 
Eventually something big and cool will come out that really will grasp my interest, probably in the RTS genre. But right now, there just isn't one of those. Someday. Someday. AoE 4, if AoE 4 is good, sure. I'm not going to commit myself to any sort of game before I know if it's good. I don't, I'm the type of person, I refuse to pre-order anything ever. Any of that kind of stuff is always off limits because I hate being scammed. And the games industry is full of people that are really, really excited to take your money for a product that you don't know is good. And I refuse to facilitate that. So we gotta wait for another lava wave. The reason I wait for the lava waves is the enemies can't attack me. I mean, it's kind of obvious when I say it like that, but it's just a good thing to keep in the back of your head is you are safe from being murdered because they will run into the lava if they try. So you can clear them out at that time. I didn't pre-order Reforged. I don't have any of the skins or anything. I did buy it though, and I am not super happy about that choice. Though, it did help me with uh, the final mission of that video, so... Worth? And honestly, I can be completely upfront about this. The reason that I played that campaign in Reforged is because I wanted to have an excuse to be critical of Reforged, if that makes sense. Being able to show off all the stuff in real time in a non-hyperbolic fashion, I think is very healthy for criticizing games like that that are just full of strife and problems but on the internet it's just people that are such full of blind hatred that it can be hard to know what's real and what isn't so going through it and having my natural reactions to oh this is really dumb why does this exist sort of thing I think is actually very helpful Not that I, like, made, or er, convinced consumers to not buy the game. I don't know, maybe I did. It's impossible to measure where I, if, whether I convinced someone to not buy a video game, because inaction is not something that's truly measurable. But it's conversations like this, which is why Blizzard will never work with me on anything ever. <laughs> I'm gonna have to resort to those Raids of Shadow Legends sponsorships at some point. I mean, it is the number one RPG, so how could we ever not take their sponsorship? They're so number one that they are number one at emailing me every single week trying to get me to shill their product. It's a joy. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Aha, we won! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just pretend Let's that didn't happen. Of 